Hey guys, um, just an update video here. It can now be more clear, a little bit more cohesive um, on exactly what's going on. Not so dead tired like yesterday, but um, what's occurring is we essentially built a dielectric relaxation oscillator, meaning this transmitter is operating and outputting power at the L3 Litz coil um, while consuming absolutely zero current on the source. We just need a biasing voltage to phantom trigger the transistor into activating so we essentially created what standard stupid modern incorrect academic physics would call maxwell's demon but they discarded aether theory for complete a completely nonsensical particle theory that can't explain really anything and has multiple huge fallacies um but according to Aether Theory, we can fully explain this device, no problem. It operates off of field pressure mechanics, um, similar to gating in energy. You could really call it a crude form of the Moray valve. Um, we upgraded to SICK diodes on the input of the transmitter. There is a SICK diode here, two of them, the C3D something something. Uh, see if we'll zoom right in. Those are the SICK diodes. Um, they essentially essentially have zero uh, loss. So what occurs is we have an L1 and L2 bucking coil creating sympathetic resonance. And the L3 outer coil being lit captures it. And we can light an LED and do work. Um, what's the most impressive is the device fires and triggers off of a voltage potential only at zero current consumption on our meter. It can't even register one one thousandth, one one thousandth of a milliamp. If I add another external ground connection at the wrong location in the system, um, the light will get brighter and we will consume power now, consuming 0 0.02 milliamps out of one milliamp on the meter. But that's the wrong way to do it. If you connect an external ground to the correct ground point, the light will get brighter, or I should say it'll pulse quicker and more powerfully while still not consuming power. Um, so all we need is a biasing voltage to phantom trigger the components into energy release, or energy manifestation, or energy conjuration at the L3 coil. Um, so, this is way too oversized, I already ordered the correct ones, I ordered micro a micro battery pack which will essentially just provide the dielectric biasing voltage of anywhere from 36 to 96 volts. I can scale the micro button cells up to just get the voltage potential. Now these batteries will never die. We're not even taking charge from the battery. We're just using the voltage potential. Um, and this light should not even be lighting up, but yet it is because we're gating the energy in. We've... Um, we're tricking the components into stimulation by phantom field stimulation. So, the device is absolutely impressive. Feel free to build it. It's fully described in the pinned comment section, detailed in our book too. Um, it's also on our YouTube posts section, fully detailing how to build it. So, again, the device essentially operates off of complete zero current consumption and we can confidently say that because I'm using a 70 mega ohm biasing resistor that's a 70 mega ohm biasing resistor that's nearly um, an open circuit with such a high resistance it, we, it only needs that biasing resistor to trigger the phantom effects to conjure power at the L3 coil so I'm going to upgrade to a single 150 mega ohm biasing resistor and that should yeah should make the system even better in theory and we'll we'll lose the big 70 mega ohm resistor chain which is 7 10 mega ohm resistors in series and we'll go to a one um a one 100 mega ohm resistor maybe even a 150 mega ohm resistor but um I didn't have any of such high resistor value laying around. I've got a lot of crap, but no resistor value of that that high. So, very impressive system. I can shrink this down. All we need is the voltage potential. I can shrink this down to a microscopic button cell level. 
feed it to the transmitter, and it will use the voltage potential only to produce power at the L3 coil, and better yet, the correct way to take the power would be to wind an L4, turn the L3 into an LC resonator, put an L4 here at the correct dimensions, wound in the same direction as L3, and we would rectify it and store the power in a DC capacitor. And you essentially have power output with zero um, input. And if I add it, the more heavier I ground the system, the brighter the light will pulse at still no current consumption, which is remarkable. So we're essentially conjuring etheric power from the L3 coil simply due to the way the system is built and tuned via the ferrite. We need a voltage potential only to trigger and phantom gate the system into activation. It is essentially a crude more a valve device. Um, you can scale these modules up. You would keep replicating the exact same module, turn it to DC, and basically make a DC bus and combine all their outputs to get what you want. So again, I'll show when you connect the ground the wrong way, you start to see we do consume current. The light will blink solid, we're operating in the Hertzian mode now, and we register current, so we're not in the dielectric impulse mode, we're consuming real current registered on the meter, 0 0.03 milliamps of 1 milliamp, that's microamps, I'm showing that effect, I add the correct ground location, the light gets brighter, and we still don't consume current at all, and the correct way to use that power, rectifier, correct DC capacitor, you'll get a steady output instead of pulsed, and you still won't consume current, so once again, system operates off of aether tension, voltage only, um, when it starts, to, when it starts, to, when you convert the etheric energy to magnetic, you have to do it in a decoupled way, which we're going to do, so that explains everything, I'm talking fast because i got to leave soon, explaining everything, read the pinned comment, uh, the system operates off of phantom gating charge and dielectric voltage potential only it consumes truly no current we just need a biasing voltage source and we unlock the power at the l3 or l4 coil so l4 coil would give you even more power in theory Whew. so feel free to like comment subscribe join the patreon listed on the post section on the youtube channel is exactly how to build it the schematic so feel free to replicate it play with it explore it um, the system is essentially a dielectric relaxation avalanche oscillator, and I know it's kind of a mouthful, but that's what it is. So, it operates off of field tension only, consumes true zero current, due to the 70 mega ohm biasing resistor that we're going to increase to an even higher value once the parts come in. So we're essentially phantom gating in charge, um, to get power out of the system, which is very interesting. The correct geometry can actually conjure power as long as you have a voltage potential and you can get power out of special geometries from a voltage potential only where you decouple the system or decouple it. So that's that. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon, replicate it, check out the YouTube post section, download our free book on archive.org, and thank you, everybody.